Alrighty, this is our Suzuki. This is the Jimny variety. Um, we are doing a full system today. So we're going to have extractors, we're doing a two and a quarter inch system, we're going to have a high flow cat and a few other goodies. Just gotten ahead of myself here and started pulling the exhaust out. We've got a set of extractors here from Hurricane. So the next thing is to get this lot out. Nice basic manifold on these. Uh, and we'll start fitting up some extractors. So with the heat shield off, that's our stock manifold, and these have a very small cat converter in them, in these late model things, and there's also a secondary cat converter downstream of that too. You can see this one's had lots of cracking problems, when the cats start to go, they, they end up cracking out the manifolds and everything with age. It's only like a pressed sheet metal manifold, so short life. We're also going to be doing EGR block off today as well, because we don't want that going back in the engine. Well, here's our side-by-side -side comparison. I don't know if I need to go too much in depth with this, it's pretty darn obvious that this fella here is going to breathe a lot better than this little guy here. So, yeah, we won't go too far with that. Um, the only thing I lied about is the EGR is actually active on this header. Normally they're blanked inside there, but this one is, uh, is plumbed through, so we'll still have EGR activation. But we're losing this little cat converter here and the secondary cat converter, which I have here on the bench to show you. So those two will both come out of play and all we'll have is one single high flow cat converter. And we'll add a sensor adapter in here so that the secondary sensor doesn't bring on the check engine light. Bring that up and show you soon. So I'm going to jam this little fellow in here. It's got to clean it up. I'm debating whether I use the tin gaskets. I love tin gaskets. They are the best. They last forever. And this one is fairly new. This engine hasn't has come out recently, so it's actually a really good gasket. Multi-layered. Good bit of gear that. So I'm going to clean this face up. Oh, I slide some headers in here. Trial fit is amazing. Like they pretty much just installed themselves. They just sort of blow it in there, went on the studs. These extractors want to be on this car. So now I'm going to pull it off and uh, we'll put a gasket in there, load it up with some bolts and start moving on to the exhaust. All right, I'm finished up top. Bolts are all in. New graphite gasket because we're using a, um, a header plate instead of a normal manifold. So the graphites have a little bit better sealing ability. I do like these and I would like to have reused it, but it's been used once. So I'm just a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit cautious. Came with a nice new gas, it seems silly not to. O2's back in down here, clip back into our loom up here. And that's for our secondary O2, which will go back in when we do the, manif uh, the secondary cat. So, yeah. Jeez, getting there. The stage here, we're just mocking up the cat converter. Uh, these are uh, two inch outlets, we just stepped up to two and a quarter. And this is our little oxygen sensor adapter. This is what's going to stop the engine light coming on in this car. So all it is, is a spacer that pulls it out of the stream. And on the inside of it, so those little holes in it, inside there is catalyst material. So it sort of still does the sensing part as well. And then that's our 100 cell metallic high flow cat. So we're going to come from this up through here on the original path. We'll put a big flexi up underneath this bash plate here. And then at the back here, I'll flange her off. I'm going to move on to the next part, get this flexi to go in. It's going to start making up our system. Alright, there's our cat pipe. So we've got a 100 cell high flow cat converter. That's our cat stuffer like we spoke about. All the original hangers are reused. And I'll put a rather large flexi in there. This thing goes, uh, it's a dedicated off-road vehicle, so we want, it to, we want it to last. We don't need breakages or anything. So, put that back up in the truck. New cooler. Chimney a truck? You can. We're going to call it a truck today. It's truckish. Put that back in the truck and uh, I'm going to fabricate the next bit. Alright, so we're up to this part here, just past this nice bash plate and ready up and over the diff. This is the original piece out of the car and it's a, it's a really good piece when you use it as a template for press bending this section of the exhaust. So I'm going to take this, I'll transfer it over here to the bender. We use a fresh piece of tube and we'll uh, see if we can't form the same piece. On second thoughts, I'm going to change that plan ever so slightly to totally different. I really feel like I want this hot dog to go in here because we're going to use a straight through muffler on the rear. So I think what I'm going to do is use a couple of mandrel bends and we'll come 45 and then 45 into that hot dog. And then I'll just mandrel the back of it as well. I think that'll be a considerably nicer setup and the sound level will just be a little bit better. Alrighty, we're mocked up to here now. It's going to be our midsection. I put a big resonator in the middle of it because two and a quarter inch system is pretty large for this thing. It was the customer's request, that's what he wanted. So uh, that'll help me control the noise because we're using a full flow muffler in the rear. 
And I've also added a hanger. There was an earth strap point up there. It's gonna give it a little bit more stability. Such a big system, we just don't want to move around too much off-road. So yeah, that's it, that hangers in. I'm gonna drop this out, weld it, paint it, and fit it. And then run to the rear muffler assembly. All right, here we are. That's our rear muffler assembly. So I had to tilt the muffler a little bit to get it up in there. It was a bit of an awkward fit due to this, this tow bar, man. Made it interesting. So one hanger's up here, up in there, which is now way more accessible than it was with the old muffler. I'll show you that in a second. But there's another one up in there, right up in the top. Very hard to see it. So that's the one that was very hard to see. That's not so bad now. It was pretty difficult before. But this fella here was on top of the muffler and getting this rubber off, that was quite difficult. So I've improved that part. That part there is still very difficult. But it does go in and out now, so that's the main thing. And it's a nice little chrome tip facing down with a tad, plenty of clearance. And from the rear of the car, you can't even see it. It's all nice and tucked up in there. This is so I didn't hit my head. Right under here is the tow bar. This bally bit here, got it once, didn't want to do it twice. Anyways, let's um, go through. I'm just gonna adjust everything up, make sure we're nice and tight on everything. Um, we go through there, heaps of room in here. This worked out really well coming through there. Maybe we'll hang around for that bit. So yes, what I'm gonna do is I just tighten up this and run my bolts one more time to make sure we're all good. Then we can fire her up. All right, start to finish. Extractors, get our high flow cat, it's a 100 cell metallic core. Cat stop is in, it's all locked down. Around through here, a big flex down to the bash plate. Through here, we're running a hot dog in here just to keep some noise levels down, get rid of that mid-level rasp. Up and over here, muffler, two and a quarter inch center offset, straight through full flow, chrome tip. So, the full system is a 409 stainless steel, it's all MIG welded, uh, frame joins everywhere we need them, so this is a serviceable item, need to do anything to the car, we can get things in and out with ease. And the extractors were from Hurricane, good folks down at Hurricane make a nice header for this car. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please check out some of our other videos. We do all sorts of bits and pieces, anything exhaust related. It's going on on this channel. So check us out, give us a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.